Delicious is not a word we normally use to describe hospital food, but one chef is changing perceptions of what cafeteria food can be with the help of some international cuisine. Chef Kobe Smith revamped the menu at Arkansas Heart Hospital, and his signature disc, dish is authentic ramen. Adriana Diaz visited the Little Rock Hospital to see how the menu is attracting more than just patients and employees. <laughs> We actually work on the campus of Arkansas Children's Hospital. So you came from another hospital? Another hospital to this hospital to have lunch, yes. Since we've been doing this, we've had thousands and thousands of people come to this hospital for one reason only, and that's just to eat our food. Three days a week, Chef Kobe Smith dishes out what's arguably the most authentic Japanese ramen in town. So do you always come when they're serving ramen? Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, yes ma'am. All three days? Yes ma'am, sometimes on Fridays I'll get two. <laughs> You want spicy? Yes. Ramen in Little Rock? Ramen in Little Rock. At a hospital? That's right. How are y'all doing up here? For a few years, Chef Kobe has been turning around the hospital kitchen. Done. It's good. Oh, I thought it was bad. <laughs> After Dr. Bruce Murphy, the hospital's CEO, said the food was too institutional. Food that has been prepared elsewhere, canned, and you open a bag and you serve it to people after you warmed it up. Not fresh food, not vibrant food. Hospital food. It's hospital food, and we wanted to change that. He demanded that ingredients be fresh, the food delicious. Oh, and one more thing. He wanted to have authentic Japanese ramen. I was being a little bit selfish because I love ramen noodles, and I figured everybody else would love ramen noodles. He discovered his love for the dish while traveling in Asia. I didn't even think twice about where the best place in the world was for him to learn how to cook ramen. Well, it's Tokyo. We got to go to Tokyo. So for a week, Chef Kobe visited the doctor's favorite ramen shops and met with their chefs, taking notes and videos along the way. These guys do the same job every day over and over again for 30, 40, 50 years. They take their craft so literally and they're so... Uh, it's an honor for them. Once back in Arkansas, he spent eight months trying to turn his research into ramen, starting with the all-important broth. It's like a small child. You have to nurture it and watch it and make sure all the ingredients are the same. Can you even learn how to make authentic ramen in one week? No, you can't do it, but you do the best you can with what you have. We're in the South, so you know we have our Southern twist to a lot of our ramen dishes. Twists like crawfish and okra, but today was pork belly day. I was very skeptical. Little Rock food critic Kevin Shalin resisted the concept of hospital-made ramen until he tried it. If a restaurant was serving this kind of ramen, would you rate it as highly? Yeah, you know, just because it's served in a hospital, I don't rate it any differently. It is good ramen. So good out. that on ramen days, parking becomes a problem. It's been so successful that I can't get to my ramen shop because there are other people in line. Spicy. A rare problem in the realm of hospital food. For CBS This Morning, Adriana Diaz, Little Rock.